Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Piles. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over the three different background removal tools that are available to you within the mood board software. And I'll be going over the difference between each of those tools and when you can use them. So if you have been using Design Files for a little while now, you've probably noticed that if you get a product that's shot on a clean background, like this chair right here, and you drag it out onto your design board, the system's automatically gonna remove that white background so that you don't have to spend the time to do it yourself. So anytime you are saving items from a vendor's site or uploading images from your computer, always try to get products that are shot on a clean white background, and that way the system can automatically remove that background for you. Now in some cases, you might get a chair like this one. And in this case, it is shot on a clean background, uh, but it's got a little bit of a shadow under here. So again, the system was trying to remove the background, but it was unable to remove the full background because we've got variations of gray in this shadow. So in this case, what I would do to clean up this item is I would just select this item on my design board and I'm gonna go over to the background removal tool over here in my toolbar. And the first tool that I'm gonna use is this simple auto removal tool. Now, the nice thing about this tool is that it works really, really well if you've got a lot of contrast between the product image and the background image. So in this case, I've got a very dark chair on a light colored background. So if I wanna clean this one up a bit, I can just pull this toggle to the right and you'll see that it starts to remove the excess shadow on that image. If I pull it all the way to the left, it'll bring the full image back in. And if I pull it to the right, I can just remove the background to a point where I'm happy with the actual image. And then I can just save this and add this cleaned up image to my design board. So again, that one works really, really well if you've got enough contrast between the background image and the actual product image itself. Now, in some cases, you don't get enough contrast between the two products. So let's say I'm gonna look for a, a chair that has, this'll do actually. If I pull out this chair here, you're gonna see that the system tried to remove that light colored background, but in doing so, it's also removed a little bit of the seat cushion here itself. So it's not able to discern what part of the image is part of the product and what's part of the background. It's just trying to pull out a color. So in this case, if this ever happens to you, what you can do is you can jump back into the background removal tool here. And in this case, I would actually use the manual remove background tool because I want to be able to cut all the way around this product, keep a nice clean image on the interior of this trace so that I have a clean product image and remove any of the background. So I'm gonna jump into the manual remove background tool. And this one will allow me to zoom into the product edges so I can get nice and close. I can use these scroll bars here to shift the image so that I can make my way around the product. So I'm just going to click to make a point. You'll see that a line is gonna radiate out from the point, And then I'm just going to click my way around this product. Now, if I need to shift the screen, I'm just gonna click onto this uh, scroll bar here and I'm gonna move this down and then I'll be able to click my way around the actual product. Now, if I make a mistake when I am tracing around this product, it's not a big deal. So let's say that I've been making my way around the product and I accidentally shift and I make a point down here. Don't worry about that. Just come right back up to the edge of the product, make another point and make your way around this item. And if you ever need to create um, curved lines, you'll be able to do that by clicking and holding down on your mouse. And then when you move your mouse around, you'll see that you can create curved lines. So it makes it possible for you to create nice soft edges if you're going around something like a pillow or anything like that. Now I'm gonna make my way fully around this product. And uh, when I do that, I'll be able to adjust any of the points after I've completed this trace. So this point here, we're gonna fix that up just directly. Again, I'm gonna use the scroll bar and I'm just gonna come up here and I'm gonna make my way around this product edge. And here is where I would use the uh, ability to just click and hold so I can create a nice curved line that will match the curve of the uh, chair here. I'm gonna use the scroll bar to come all the way around. And the key thing here is that I need to close off this trace by clicking on the very first point that I made. 
So you always have to close off your, your trace and you'll know that you've closed it off because when you do that, the line will turn black uh, instead of red. So here we go, we're fully closed off here. I've got this one point that I need to fix, so I'm just gonna zoom right into that. I'm gonna click and drag this point up to the product edge, and then I'm going to release it when I'm happy and save it. And now I've got a nice clean chair that I can add to my design. The other thing that's great about using the tracing tool is that if I save this design now, that uh, traced version of this product is now saved to the library. So anytime I bring this item back out onto a design board for any future project, it will pull out the traced version. And if you have a team account, it means your whole team has access now to this traced version as well. Now, another case, we've got another background removal tool for you. So in this case, I've got this chair here. So there are some brands that just never give you a product that's gonna be shot on a clean background. They're always shot within a space. So if the only image that you can get of this item is the product shot within a space, here's another background removal tool that you can try using. So in this case, I'll select this image here. I'm gonna go back into the background removal tool and I'm gonna try using the magic auto removal tool. If I tried using the simple one here, you'll notice that when I pull this toggle to the right, it's eventually gonna start pulling out parts of the actual product image itself because there's far too much similarity between the color of the product and the colors in the background. So this will not work on a product image like this. Instead, you should try the magic auto removal tool, turn this toggle on, and the system will try to find the edges of the product and cut it out for you. And then you can just save that version to your design board. So you can absolutely try these different background removal tools and see which one's gonna work well for you. One thing that you'll probably notice is that the uh, magic auto removal tool is gonna work really well on solid pieces of furniture. But in cases where you have, I'm just gonna bring out this image right here. In cases where you have uh, a product that has some kind of interior areas like this, if I use the uh, magic auto removal tool, you can see that it cut out, let's just turn this off again and turn it back on. It cut out all the way around the product, but it did leave this centerpiece in here. So in this case, I might wanna switch over to the manual remove tool. I would trace all the way around the outside of the product first, and then I can do secondary traces to cut out the interior part of the product. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now so you can see how it works. And in this case, we'll just use the scroll bar here. I'm gonna click anywhere on the product. Again, I click and hold to create a curve. And then I just kind of make my way around the product. And you can zoom right in close to the product edges so that you get a nice tight trace. You would make your way all the way around the exterior of the product first. So if you ever deal with products where there's interior spaces that need to be cut out as well, you first need to do the full outer trace and then you can come back in and you can do an interior trace of the product to remove those additional spots. So again, I'm clicking and holding so I get a nice curve. That way I won't have to do a million little jagged points to create a curved edge. So just hold down your uh, mouse key whenever you need to make a nice curve. And we're gonna go all the way around the outside here and I need to make sure that I close off my trace by clicking on the very first point that I made. Once I've done that, now I can come back in and I'd probably wanna clean this up a little bit, but I'm gonna come back in here and now I can create an interior trace here to remove this section of the product. And while this might take a little bit more time to make sure that you're getting a nice clean trace, the nice thing about this is that you can always save the trace version to your library and that means that you'll be able to pull this out for any future projects. So you trace it once and you have it forever. So again, you'd come back down to the bottom here and then you would just trace out your final portion right here. Click and hold to create your curve and just complete your sections. And remember, you can always adjust any of the points after the fact uh, if you want to adjust any, any curves or make any fixes to any of your lines here. So now that I've got everything traced out, um, I'll just leave this for now just to give you an idea of how it works. We save this and now I've got this chair or this uh, table completely cut out and I can use it within my designs. 
Okay, so I think that that basically covers it. So just keep in mind, the simple background removal tool works really, really well if you have a product that has enough contrast uh, between the background image and the actual product image itself. So again, you can use the auto, uh, the simple auto removal tool to remove any minor shadows that you wanna remove from the products as long as there's enough contrast. If the product is a product that has white within it, you'll probably wanna use the manual tracing tool so that you can keep the white within the product visible uh, on your design board, so keep that in mind. And if you have a solid image like this, like a chair, a sectional, um, a table, a dining table, anything like that, always try to use the magic auto removal tool first if that image is, sh or if that product is shot within a space. You'll find that the product, or this um, background removal tool is able to find the product edges on the majority of the images that you're using, and then you can just quickly remove it. If for whatever reason it doesn't find the edges for you, you can always use the manual tool to cut around that product, save that trace version to your library, and you'll have that for all future projects. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions at all, always reach out to us on the live chat. We're always happy to help.